everybody. So it's been requested that I make this Dollar Tree pizza. So it's going to be a pepperoni pizza. And I have this, the ultra thin pizza crust. It's ready to top. One ultra thin crust, 4.75 ounces. So I bought this and I bought this pantry essentials pizza sauce to go on it. And I don't know if I'm going to use the whole jar. I don't know yet. We'll see. Then I, they, uh, my Dollar Tree did not have the pepperoni, so I bought it at uh, Walmart, the Great Value brand. Uh, I think you get more pepperoni in this, but it's two dollars and sixty-eight cents um, for six ounces. So, and then I picked up the mozzarella cheese, and it's eight ounces, the Great Value brand. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Anyway, I have the oven at four twenty-five. This is so easy, y'all. You could do a blindfold, but I'm not going to do that. So anyway, my pizza, my pizza pan. I've used it for years. Look at it. It looks bad. So anyway, so I'm going to cut this off here, and I'm not even going to like spray the pizza pan at all. I don't think it sticks. To be honest with you. So we got there like that. And so, first of all, I'm going to put the pizza sauce on it, if I can open it. Well, let me see here. I got my... Yay, I opened it. Okay. I'm going to stir it up a little bit. And I'm going to put it out here. And you can, add, you know, put however much you want on here. I mean, this jar, it could probably make two of these because there's a lot in this jar. And just kind of spread it up, not all the way to the edge. So still, there's like a half a jar here left, see? I'm just going to use a little bit more just for the heck of it. Oh, I may have to go get me another piece of crust. Now, I'm going to open up this the mozzarella cheese. I had to look if I was recording or not. Ha! <laughs> Great! It's recording, thank goodness. Okay, so... And just put it out however much y'all like. Um, last time I think I used the whole bag, but I think it was a little bit too cheesy. So I'm going to save half of everything, and I'm going to make another pizza. Whenever I go back down there and pick up another crust, I'll get I'll have another meal. Okay. So let me get a fork here or something. Kind of spread it out. It's so easy, you guys. Easy, easy. I never really thought of making this before. But I see people on YouTube making it, and I said, hey, that looks good, so why not try it, you know? Okay. Now. The pepperoni. I'm just going to open it up. I'm not... I'm just going to put it in a plastic baggie, and I'm going to use half of it. And this is like the regular pepperoni. You can also buy it in Turkey. So. My hands are clean. <laughs> Get a lot of pepperoni. I might have to make it like a pepperoni lovers here. So much pepperoni. But it's so good, you know? A few more slices on here. I don't 
know. Mm. It's good just by itself. Okay, I think that's enough pepperoni. <laughs> okay. So now I'm preheating the oven, so I gotta wait till it's ready. And then it says to put it, uh, what did it say? 425 and you put it in there for 8 to 12 minutes which is hardly anything and then you let it cool before you eat it so we will I will be right back after this buzzes and it bakes and then I'll show you all the finished product okay guys so I baked this on 425 for about 12 minutes and this is what it looks like and as soon as it cools down, I will show you um, how I cut it, and I'll put it on a plate, because I'm going to show you it's a little bit flimsy. I like to eat it with a fork, actually, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Hey okay, guys, so the pizza has been sitting here, I guess, about 10 minutes or so, and it's, you know, this is cool now, so I can go ahead and try to cut it here, and I'll show y'all. still warm though. All this cheese is moving around on here. Hopefully it'll just want to come up. That's pretty good. And um, I don't know. Let's see how it's going to do because it's it's cooled off a little bit. Last time it was all floppy and everything. So not bad, not bad if I should say so myself. I don't know. Let's take a taste. See how it's kind of floppy. <laughs> Guys, it's not bad for a Dollar Tree pizza. Of course, I got Walmart thrown in here too, but hey, it's decent. It tastes good. The pizza sauce is really good. So, y'all try it, man. You might not. You might like it. You might not. Who knows? But try it. You just never know. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. Hey, Brittany.